we're parked at the very north end of DD Highway in Wright County, Missouri. You'll see the pavement. The pavement comes to an end and it turns to gravel. This is Pleasant Ridge Road. I'll set the trip meter on the gravel here and we'll see how far it is to the property. It's, uh, it's a little over a mile, I believe. This section of the road was just graded within the last day or two, so it looks a little rough. And I'm going kind of quickly to keep the video uh, short, so that makes it seem even rougher. crossed over in that low part. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I guess I don't have to say it's a good area for, for wild turkey. Where'd you go, guys? I see you. I don't know if this camera can see him, but I can see him back there, about 40 feet back. So anyway, great area for wild turkey. <laughs> white-tailed deer as well. Maybe we'll see a, a group of deer run across the road to prove my point up here. <laughs> but no, it really is an awesome area for wildlife. Um, this 10-acre tract borders Pleasant Ridge Road along its entire west side and uh, borders the Fusen Conservation Area along its entire east side. And uh, that conservation area is about 1,500 acres of public land that's open to pub public use. Um, so you can have your 10 acres and set up your campsite or your home or cabin there and have direct access into that Fusion conservation area. Uh, if you're a hunter, uh, if you like to hike or camp, there's actually an awesome cave there. Uh, I believe a creek. Uh, it's really really a special area and it, this makes makes it a special property this 10 acre tract we were really lucky that we were able to get a hold of a few of these 10 acre tracts we're still going north on Pleasant Ridge Road and we're not too far from the property now you can see the electric line uh, running over there on the east side of the road so the property does have direct it does have electric directly on it already, uh, which is pretty nice. Phone will be on the county road. And I believe we're getting close to the property. Gone nine tenths of a mile. And as it turns to one mile, as it just did, start looking to your right you'll see that uh, fence post or stake or whatnot with the pink ribbon white top so now we're at the southwest corner of the property and it fronts this road as we look to the north it goes about 330 feet and then goes back to the east about a quarter mile and then that east side is where it borders the Fusen conservation area up on the road here and we'll go have a look at the property down there on the left there's an earth sheltered house so if you get to that house you've gone just a couple hundred feet too far so we're parked here now on track three Obviously, like I said, you can see the power line. And I'll just, I'll walk back to the east. I'll keep the camera running and we'll see what we can see. It's very early April and I wanted to get out here uh, and do this video. Usually we wait until the, everything's in full bloom and the trees are all leafed out. But in the case of this, this uh, property and these properties out here, once the leaves are all out, you won't be able to see too far because it is just covered 
in small and medium sized timber. 10, 15, 20 year old timber. Now it's not brushy, it's not like a recently logged property where it's too brushy to even walk through. I can walk right through this with no problem. I see a few ribbons here. I think the guys were at one point marking out some, some potential trails. So now we walk back about 100 feet or so and it's all been uh, fairly level. Some awesome camping sites or building sites. Now it's a little overcast. And even without the leaves on the trees, I can just barely see my truck up there on the road. So once everything leaves out, you are talking about a peaceful, secluded property. And you can put your building site or your camping site you know, 150 feet off the road, or you might want to go back a thousand feet. As I said, the very east end borders the Fusen Conservation Area. Some bigger trees, obviously mature timber. Most of it is the, like I said, the 10 or 15, 20 year old timber. And now as we continue going east, it looks like it slopes down and then back up again. This is the very first time I've actually set foot uh, on track three. I've seen it from the road a few times. It slopes down fairly gently and then back up again and it looks like it levels off. I'm not going to walk all the way to the east side. I'll let you explore the property at your own pace. But there you've got some, some nice bigger timber. So there is some mature timber. Uh, after the property's been paid for in full, you'd be welcome to log that if you choose to do so. Might be nicer just to let it grow. These little trees, anything under eight inches diameter, uh, you're free to, to cut with a chainsaw or whatnot to clear your trails and roads and building sites. If you need to clear something bigger than eight inches, just get a hold of us. But what an awesome property. I think uh, I said it on a video that I took on track two. We're on track three now, but I think I said it on the video for track two that we were super excited to be able to get a hold of these 10 acre tracts. Um, I'll ramble here for just a minute since <laughs> we're only at eight minutes. We can do a 10, 12 minute video. Why not? Uh, when we talk to uh, countless uh, realtors and landowners and every single day uh, and we're telling them exactly what we want, our short list basically is, uh, and this isn't to knock any properties that, that we sell or anybody else sells that doesn't have these qualities, but our short list of qualities is direct frontage on a county maintained road, um, gravel road preferably because it slows down the traffic so you don't have people whizzing by at 70 miles an hour. We want electric directly on the property because then you're guaranteed electric, it's already there uh, and the cost will be minimal generally. We want phone on the property or nearby. It's not as big a deal if phone isn't on the property because phone companies can run it at a minimal cost but it's still nice to have it nearby, which it is. Uh, and then the big one, which is really hard to find, trust me, is direct frontage uh, on on, a, on public land, uh, which this has. So this was like, when we found it, it was a slam dunk. We, it was tr tricky to put the deal together. Uh, working with sellers often can be. So we didn't think we were gonna get these properties and then uh, we ended up closing the deal and, and getting them. So yeah, we were super excited to get these to be able to offer these to you. It's probably the first property we have that hit on all those major points. Uh, you can usually get one or two of those, but you don't get all five or six of those, except on these properties. 
Oh yeah, and the other thing is it's within five miles or less of the Gasconade River, which was just a, a crazy bonus. Uh, and it's a nice area on the Gasconade, a nice uh, conservation area where you can put a small boat in and you can fish. Just one more amazing plus on this property. So if you can't tell, we're pretty excited about these Fusen conservation tracts. Okay, now I'm over 10 minutes. <laughs> I wasn't shooting for that. I try to keep these at about five minutes, honestly. But we went long on this one. I'll head back to the truck. But yeah, that, that's track three at the Fusen Conservation Area. Awesome property. Kind of thing you, you want to own 20, 40 years from now. You want your kids to have. I mean, it's, it's great. So give us a call or get a hold of us. Tract 3, 10 acres on Pleasant Ridge Road, adjoining the Fusen Conservation Area in Northwest Wright County. Oh, by the way, we're not that far from Marshfield, Missouri, from Lebanon, Missouri, which are two of the larger cities in Southwest Missouri, uh, and also Hartville, Missouri. Um, two small cities nearby, Grove Spring, Missouri, and Niangua, Missouri. Okay, I'm finally done. Track three.